The lab operates like a kitchen. They add this ingredient and that. Go ahead and pour that in here. Mixing, weighing, pressing, and baking. What's created is called a mate drop, a ceramic disc infused with silver. When dropped in water, silver ions are released to purify the water. And testing here at the University of Virginia shows clean, safe water. Bita Ade is a doctoral candidate at UVA. It's not just about making a really great technology that effectively removes or kills bacteria and pathogens. It's about making a low cost, simple to use one tailored to people in developing countries who don't have many resources. The students are experimenting with various shapes of Mahdi drops to correspond with the different sizes of water storage containers. So why did they name them Mahdi drops? The word Mahdi means water in Shivenda, a language of Limpopo province in South Africa. Here, 50 women run a water filter factory set up by the university last summer. The women mix sawdust and clay and make flower pot shaped filters. The water flows through the filters to trap bacteria and solid particles to purify it. The factory sells the filters to local families. Manager Sertinia Cachillon says the work has changed the women's lives. When they get money for, for, for those pots, they're just uh, buying a school uniform for their children. But the Mahdi drop is smaller and less expensive than the filters. So over the next few months, students will conduct field trials of the Mahdi drop here in South Africa. Water experts say further testing will determine if the Mahdi drop is indeed a breakthrough. Maggie Montgomery is with the World Health Organization. She explained through Skype what field testing should reveal. Do they find it convenient? Does it, does it have a certain taste that they don't like to the water? Um, but what happens you know, once it becomes exhausted? If successful, the South African women will produce and sell Mahdi drops. The goal is to expand these factories to other developing countries and impact millions of lives per year. Jim Smith is the engineering professor leading the project. Imagine a magic stone. And you take this magic stone and you drop it in your water container. And it purifies the water and makes it safe to drink. And then imagine that this magic stone only costs a few dollars. Um, that's what the Mahdi Drop is. The project has been presented to the American Chemical Society and the American Society of Civil Engineers. Smith says he's received calls from corporations interested in producing the Mahdi Drop, which just might mean Smith and his students have truly invented a magic stone. In Charlottesville, Virginia, Carolyn Pursuti, VOA News.